Welcome everyone to this live stream. So this live stream is all about the fish eye lens effect in Corel Draw. So this is a very simple effect in Corel Draw and you can do it under five minutes. So let's try to do it for under five minutes. So basically we will we will learn how to do the pattern. So the pattern will be uh, I'm going to go to my polygon and I'm going to create a polygon. So hold down control, hold down control to make it a, a good a good proportion polygon. And then after that, I'm going to uh, rotate this 90 degrees and hit enter. And then after that, what I'll do, I'm going to create a triangle click on polygon again is another way to create a uh, triangle an equilateral triangle is you go to the polygon tool and then type in here a tree and then click and drag and then hold down control to make it a an equilateral triangle and then release so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put this one to the center of these endpoints so when you're dragging the object, so make sure uh, to go to your snap and then make sure to click on uh, objects, okay? And then we are going to drag it from the center and then to the edge of the triangle. So, and then you go plus sign in your keyboard and then you're going to move it by dragging the center of the polygon and then snapping to that endpoint and then plus sign again in your keyboard and then moving it to the other one so now you know that all of these uh, polygons are centered to that endpoint so now what we're going to do is we're going to i'm going to put this here so that we can see it because we're going to turn change it to white so all of this polygon will be white Hold down shift to select and then we'll make it white. And then right mouse click here to remove the outline. But this one here, we are also going to make it a white outline. So you double click on your outline tool and then make it white and drag it there. And then I'm going to make this, uh, while you're doing it, just look at the preview here. Say for example, 10. Oh, I guess you can't preview it. But anyway, uh, let's try 10 first. Okay, so 10 uh, works works fine. And then I'm going to I'm going to move this object first. I know it's going to be more than five minutes. Sorry about that. Um, but that's because I'm explaining. But but once you do it, um, uh, you you can do it within five minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this smaller. And then, so now what I'm gonna do here is, first of all, I'm gonna remove the outline of this. Uh, click, 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 and then right mouse click here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna group this first. So Control G to group, or click on the group icon. And then I'm gonna go plus sign my keyboard again. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag this is very handy because in a polygon, do you have a center? So you click on that and then drag it to the other center of the polygon, right? Oops, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. So let's, okay. Sorry, it wasn't grouped. So again, let's group this, Control G or group. I'm just gonna make sure that it's grouped. Okay, yeah, it's grouped. So now plus sign your keyboard and then I'm going to drag the center of the polygon to the other center. And then once you establish that motion, right, and duplication, now you can go control D to duplicate. And it's going to be the same uh, offset, right? Control D. And then you basically you're, you can, you're just going to make a lot of, a lot of that uh, pattern. Okay, so now we're going to select this one and then we're going to hit plus sign in your keyboard again. 
and then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, click on the center of this this polygon and then drag it to the next one right like that so now you have already a pattern right so now we're going to select all of this again and then again plus sign in your keyboard and then you're going to bring this down so make sure you grab it from the center of that polygon and then bring it down and then since you already established the you know the duplication with the moving you can hold down uh, you can click on control d now to create the pattern so that's that's really easy right let's just make a lot and then i'm going to shrink this down I'm going to shrink this down to say like that. Okay. And then uh, you can group it or you, if you don't want to group it, that's fine too. Uh, I'm going to group it so that it's easier. So now you just have to create a circle. So click on your circle or ellipse tool and then make sure to hold down control to create a perfect circle. And then just you know just just create a circle which is as long as the pattern is inside the circle that's fine or if you want you can also what I do sometimes I just click on white uh, right mouse click here and then I'll just go to my transparency tool and I'm just gonna click on transparency there so that I know that that uh, which area is gonna be with the lens eff uh, fisheye effect so now we're ready to do a uh, a lens effect so we go to effects and then click on lens so in lens right now the circle doesn't have any lens right so you go to fisheye and then suddenly you have this uh, this um, what do you call this 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 effect now I notice that we also have two colors here I don't know that would be nice too or if you want if you want to make it just pure on purely one color we can do it this way now you're not stuck to this um, this setting because if you look look at this one you can actually uh, increase and then while I'm increasing it you can see the difference right so what's 120 25 I'm just gonna leave it to 125 or say 130 and then this is uh, this is important right so if you don't click on frozen and say for example you want to move it around and put it in this side you actually can't do it because it's not frozen see it's not frozen so what you have to do is once you decide okay so this is fine so frozen means okay, it freezes the lens, I mean the image inside the circle, and then you can move it. So click on frozen, very important. So once you click on frozen, now you can move it outside, right? Okay, so now we are going to put it here, and then I think this is, this is the background. And we're going to make the background like that. Okay, and then, so what you can do here, you can you can do whatever you want now. You can even rotate it if you want. Say I'm going to rotate it this way. If you like that, that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an illusion that it's, it's circle like this. Uh, so I am going to uh, create a circle. So here's, here's, here's what I... Uh, what I can do, I mean, a shortcut thing to do is to create boundaries, right? So if I click on this one and then I go to objects and then click on shaping and then shaping and click on boundary. So basically it's going to get the the boundary shape, right? And then now I have a boundary. If you zoom in, I have the boundary there, right? So what I'll do is I am going to fill this with white, remove the outline right mouse click here and then I'm going to create a transparency which is 
uniform transparency this one actually not uniform I'm gonna go to fountain transparency and with the trans uh, fountain transparency since it's a, a circle it's a circular object you go um, ellipti uh, elliptical fountain and then you can move this around so this is the highlight okay and then you can control the highlight if you want say like that and like that and uh, and that's it and I think the shadow here what I what I did to the shadow is that this is one way to do shadow too so I'm gonna create an ellipse like that I'm gonna color it black that's fine right mouse click to remove the outline and then I'm going to just create a uh, put transparency in it so uniform transparency and then I'm going to bump up the transparency say for example 70 oops something going on with my computer okay so say let's just say like that right and then you can go to effects and then blur Gaussian blur so it would look more realistic the shadow to be more realistic and then click OK and there you go and if you want a darker background uh, I'm just gonna click on this one you know how to how, how to do a darker background right so you click on the image and then you hold down control just hold down control and then click on the black so basically it's gonna create a shade of that color which is nice and for example um, say this one would we'll do the opposite for the for the um, for this color here on the bottom color if I want to make that a lighter I hold down my control and then click on the white fill and look at that it changes it makes it lighter okay so that's all for today I hope you like it uh, it's very simple and I know you can do this and um, I will see you tomorrow if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and if you subscribe um, I would appreciate if you comment or click on the like button and turn on um, yeah and I will see you tomorrow bye for now